Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hi guys, this is Anna. Welcome to my channel. So the original plan was to have the ceremony on a private beach at 6.30 on Saturday but because that day and actually a day before there were heavy rain and wind, the weather was awful so we had to have the ceremony in a little room on the private beach. I was very disappointed because my dream was to get married on the beach but you can't predict the weather so you always have to have a plan B when planning your wedding. So the ceremony took place inside and took only 20 minutes. Right after it, we went outside to the beach to take some photos and have some champagne. It was getting dark, so we took a few more pictures. Then we went to a restaurant called Villa Rolandi. We had a meal and drinks there. It was an amazing restaurant, the best one in Isla Mujeres. Unfortunately, the rain didn't stop, so we took a taxi straight home and got changed. We couldn't go out to have a few drinks, as it was flooded and the weather was too bad, so we stayed on our balcony drinking and talking till late. Is that all you got? Let's begin My husband and I got married in May 2014 on a tiny Mexican island called Isla Mujeres. We had been to Mexico before, but we didn't know anything about organizing a wedding there, as we both live in England. I'm Polish and my husband is Hungarian. One of us wanted to make a choice between uh, my family and his family when it came to picking the place. Uh, the choice was very tough, so we decided to pick a neutral and exotic place for our wedding. Not many people would go with us, so we were not so worried about organizing the party as we were about all the legal paperwork. Uh, luckily, there were not many things to do and the whole process was very easy, very quick. Uh, all we had to do was to find a wedding planner and exchange a few emails with her, uh, including copies of our passports and our witnesses' passports. Uh, our wedding planner was Juliet from uh, Papillon Weddings. So in order to get married, you, you need to have four witnesses and we only took two guests with us. So Juliet was uh, our witness and she promised to bring another girl to be our witness. We also had to take a blood test a few days before our wedding just to confirm that we were HIV negative uh, because if you are positive, you can't get married according to Mexican law. I think I covered the most important things about our wedding. As I mentioned before, it's very important to have a plan B in case of bad weather. And I wouldn't recommend having your ceremony between June and November as wind and the rain can spoil your wedding. If you have any questions or tips or if you got married in Mexico and wish to add something, please comment down below. Please like and subscribe. And if you want me to do a tutorial about anything related to my wedding, my wedding dress or anything else, Please email me or comment down below.